following video clips were created by the Tertiary Education Commission from selected 2010 Putia Arapikiako projects for teachers in Kaiako who work with tertiary students in Tauira and want to learn more about the perspectives, views and understanding they bring with them. These resources complement the learning progressions for adult literacy and numeracy by suggesting links to Matauranga Māori and Pacifica worldviews. The approach taken to teaching and learning adult literacy and numeracy uses a three-point model, knowing the demand, knowing the learner, and knowing what to do. So what, out, what did the project set out to achieve? We wanted to use Māori frameworks along with the embedding of literacy and numeracy and best teaching practice and combine those three things to make a programme that would benefit tutors. So it's putting theory into practice. And how much of a need was there for it? There was quite a big need um, through our institution. Māori is a stakeholder for, for the start. We had an obligation to do bicultural training. And so this was a good vehicle for us to be able to embed the Māori pedagogies within the literacy and numeracy. The quality assurance wants effective teaching practice, so this was a way of teaching our tutors how to embed effective teaching practice. Yeah, and how did you go about it? We consulted with our Māori community, we put a programme together, and then we presented that to our kaumata and our Māori community, and we got the approval to go ahead. We formed the programme, so we wanted to do the theory, we wanted to do and then put the theory into practice. And what did you learn along the way? A variety of things uh, about having an inclusive environment so that people are able to ask the tough questions. We wanted to show them how to implement it in their classroom straight away so that it wasn't something that was intangible, it's something that they could use straight away. In what ways are the learners benefiting from this new approach? I think the learners are, will be engaged in a variety of activities in a variety of ways using Māori pedagogies and I also think the tutors have a better understanding of te whare tapawha, looking at the learner as a holistic learner, not just um, in the domain of the hine naro or the mind. Mm. So can you tell us more about how you measured the success of this project? We measured it through lots of different ways. First and foremost I guess it was through the participation of our tutors in the program and the responsive feedback and the positive feedback that they gave us. We will be going out into classrooms over time and looking at tutors implementing some of those pedagogies within the classrooms. And we'll be doing this through tu tutor observations. Hopefully we'll be able to go into the classrooms and see good teaching practice and be able to give our tutors good feedback on what, we're, what they're doing well. And what was the highlight of this project for you? The highlight of the project was being able to engage in rich discussion about Te Ao Māori, seeing tutors put theory into practice, and hopefully over time seeing our learners succeed. Yeah. And what advice would you give to others looking to follow this example? Have great facilitators who are open to alternative ideas. Because I have a direct link to new tutors that come into SIT, I thought they would be a great market for our, for our program because they come in fresh with no preconceived ideas. So initially we um, asked all our new tutors to come on board, which most of them did, and found it really useful. And then we sent the invitation out to all tutors at SIT. So how would you summarise the overall difference that this project has made for your learners? The overall difference is that they're engaged in a variety of activities, a more rich and learning environment, and we have tutors that teach in a variety of ways.